Today, we are definitely excited for this review. We've heard great things of this place, kind of a unique name, so we thought it's time to try it out, and that is... Hash House A-Go-Go. Hash House A-Go-Go. Location-wise, it's considered Winter Garden, but if we turn the camera slightly this way, Spring Hill Suites that we just did a review and stay at is right across the street there. So, we're gonna go in to this Hash House A-Go-Go and give it a try. Very excited, very hungry. It looks like it's got a great menu. And again, have only heard great things of it. Well, let's go check it out. Like I mentioned, there's Spring Hill Suites right across the street. There's the Five Guys. Here's Hash House A Go Go. And it's in the Flamingo Crossings area. Let's see if we can get the hours. It says now open. So it must be a newish location it looks like they've got some outdoor seating there some outdoor seating here which very hot day today it's going to be indoor seating thank you whoa please keep off the tractor so there's a little waiting area here there's a giant tractor some hats and this interesting i don't even know what it is a light fixture I don't, it's not a light so i don't even know what it is it's interesting this is what it looks like in here this is where they're gonna if you have to wait take your name oh look We've got Martha Stewart over there oh and the guy from um, man vs food the old man vs food by Adam Richmond there we go twisted farm food we have some TVs up in here restrooms I think are at the front I'll try to show that a nice bar over there. This is a nice restaurant. Looks like we're going all the way back here. Oh, right here. Yeah, I think restrooms, if you look up there to the right next to that hungry sign, I think that's where the restrooms are. So it's not a super large place in here, but it already smells good. There's the bar and we've got our menu. Don't even know where to start, so let's just start right here. Fresh food with a twist. Farm fresh food with a twist. Hash house a go-go. So I'm just gonna try to go pretty slow down the menu here because there's just too much to read and a lot going on. No idea what I'm gonna get. Winner of 20 plus best of Las Vegas food dessert and drink awards. Man vs. Food loved it. That's something. So that's the front of the menu. Now if we turn it to this side, same process, just kind of a slow glance of the menu here, sandwiches. I guess they're open, we didn't see their hours, but online, what, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m.? Something like that. I didn't see their hours on the door, but 7 a.m. to 10 p.m., I think. They have a really good menu. And I guess this is just the breakfast and brunch and lunch menu. And then did you find online they had a dinner, they had a dinner menu online. Now, as far as drinks go, she was just explaining everything to us, and there's a lot going on here. So we have the alcoholic drinks on this side. Look at all those Bloody Marys. They also have souvenir glasses. We've got some mimosas. Beer. A lot of drinks. On this side, the non-alcoholic drinks. And you can start off with some coffees and espressos, cappuccinos. Look at that banana latte. Frosted mint latte. Down here, this is where it gets pretty wild and crazy. So they've got all these freshly made lemonades, which I went with the homemade lemonade and iced tea. You do have to look at the refills though. Most of them say refills one buck and a quarter. She said the kiwi watermelon lemonade is this right here with all these layers. Isn't that what she said, this one here? And said it comes with a fresh slice of watermelon and is really good. Um, the farmer's garden is also really good. We have the juices right here. 
And then over here, the iced teas. The regular iced tea has free refills. The flavored ones have is uh, one buck and a quarter. She did say the stone fruit are like the fruits with a pit in them. So they change daily. I think today's is like cherry. Caramel apple butter iced tea. That's something too. And then sodas. And then also, like I mentioned up front, they've got their really cool swag. Now, she just went over some of the menu with us because we said, what would, what would you recommend? If you want sweet, she recommends this tractor-driver combo because you can get pancakes, French toast. Those all have different flavors. You can see there's Snickers. And then she said, if you want something sort of savory, the BBBLT is here. And that gr griddled milk bread is something kind of like that. And you get a side with that. So I... There's so much. I have no idea what to get, but we're gonna try to figure that out now. Also desserts, I think I kind of forgot to show that. So you're looking at getting a hash, hashes? Yeah, I can't decide. You said maybe veggie? Yeah, or the chilaquiles. Now how did she say this? She said the chilaquiles. Chilaquiles, she said it's really good also, which did sound interesting because she said it's all like, it's like a wet taco, is that what she said? Wet nachos, it's like wet nachos. I'm sure every single thing in this place is amazing. Meatloaf sounds good. I might just have to go with the, she mentioned the BBBLT. And their fries look good. Where are their sides, sides? She said you can get salads, fries, Hash House mac and cheese is probably really good as well. I don't know. If, do you see just sides? Look how big that is down there. This is unbelievable. Such a cool place. I can see why it's very popular and why many people said go try Hash House a go-go. Also, as far as the drinks, I did ask about the caramel apple butter iced tea and she said the person at the bar makes literally like 50 a day, so it's a popular drink. So you're stuck between the what? Either, I'm gonna do the hash, and I don't know if I'm gonna do the chorizo one or the um, veggie one. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, and then I can do the veggie one. You could ask her, which is the best. That's a tough choice. Sometime I do wanna try the Milo. I also feel like uh, on the way here, Timber read about these biscuit bites, and I also feel like we should maybe give just a solo a try. So typical Altum life fashion. Are you doing an audible? I might, I might try the biscuits and sausage gravy. It's tough. It is a very tough choice. If you have been to a hash house, a go go, what is your favorite? Ask, okay. but this is just a spur of the moment. True, we should ask. But if you've been, what is your favorite item to get? So here's the Arnold Palmer, the fresh made lemonade and iced tea. I've stirred it up and I've also tried it, but it's it's very good. There's the regular lemonade. They've got a really stinking good lemonade, I would say. Um, so let me just show you what I thought of this. Here is that Arnold Palmer. It's very good. It's really good. That was a lot. So what'd you end up doing? Chorizo hash. With a tortilla. Yeah. And you can kind of make it into like a burrito. Yeah. And it's usually served on mashed potatoes. She said she switches them out for crispy, like the crispy potato. Yes. And then um, their jams for that, whatever that little biscuit thing biscuit is. Bites, they had blueberry and strawberry jam. Yeah. She said no to the veggie one. Veggie hash, she said it's not. And she also said their biscuits and gravy are very good. And then for my side, I went with regular fries, although they have sweet potato fries, and she said both are very good, but I do want to try just their regular fries. And for all my restroom friends, they were over here. Look at all these they have of signed famous people who have been to a hash house a go-go. Joey Fatone. They've got them everywhere. That's pretty neat. Wow, I'm excited to try the food. They also have a family restroom back here. Okay, so a couple things. Restrooms are very clean and nice, in case you wanted to know that. She's filming because I just walked past somebody that had a pancake and I, no exaggeration, it was this big. 
also the kids mac and cheese bowl which is behind us i mean the kids like one foot one <laughs> and the bowl is this big of mac and cheese so portion sizes very large here and anytime a place has some hits in the background we always like to mention it sometimes we don't really say what it is though and in this case it's bill withers and it's gonna be a lovely day, lovely day. so this is solo yeah this is the solo portion and it's got uh, seven in there she grabbed the blueberry jam because she said it is the best so um i can tell you right now there's no way we're going to be able to meet eat all everything because everybody's portion sizes i'm looking around and the biscuits and gravy huge it's all huge where do you even begin oh my mom we used to make um, donuts out of biscuits. Oh, nice. Ooh. They smell good. What do you think? Yeah, I couldn't eat a lot of them, but not because they don't taste good. But good. Yeah, right. I gotta give it a try. Here we go. Those are good. The blueberry jam, very good. But I see what you mean. It, it'd be hard to eat a bunch of those just because they are sweet. And here's that chorizo. Look at, whoa, look at that. That does look tasty. So I have to say our waitress is awesome, very kind, very friendly, very helpful. Um, she did say the pancakes are 16 inches and the kids' ones are 12. So she said the kids' ones are like normal ones. The regular ones are 16 inches. I wasn't lying. There's the tortilla. <laughs> um, this is like the biggest BLT I've ever had in my entire life. I'm probably gonna have to give the phone to uh, Timber so I can show you a full size of this thing. They also do, what is this, the pasta that's supposed to look like hay? It's like, she said fried pasta? So it looks like hay. And they put a Christmas tree on every piece that she said. So I'm not gonna lie, I've already tried a fry and it's honestly one of the best fries I've ever had But let me show you the fry crunchiness Very crunchy. They're tasty. They're really good fries. And in case you don't believe me Stinking good fries. All right, just to show you Can you even pick it up? That's how big this thing, I mean Oh no! I can't even... You're gonna have to cut it up. Yeah, massive size in case you were wondering we did just try this bacon and it's also stinking good have you tried some of yours yet oh yeah i've been just eating it like this <laughs> good but it's spicy interesting she did say she could take some spice out of it though right you can take the jalapenos but it's good looks so good i'm gonna try hers it is a little spicy but that is that's stinking good too honestly they should rename it stinking good hash house a go-go because everything's been stinking good i haven't tried the blt yet getting ready to i have successfully used my chainsaw to cut this thing in half that's what it looks like so kind of a tip for you it already has mayo on it but she said i can bring out some mayo for you and i i didn't know it had it on it and she did and i'm thankful she did because it's such a big sandwich that the mayo that they put on it for me wasn't that much mayo, so I'm adding some more mayo to it. Here we go. That is very good. I have to give a thumbs up to the bread they use. Stinking good bread. So, everything's been great, honestly. Definitely slowing down. It was so good, though I still am eating and eating and eating. <laughs> it's so much food. And it's kind of funny because they have Food Network on, so that's cool. I don't know if you can see over my shoulder there, but they have somebody making balloons in here. Balloon animals. Balloon animals. Okay, and here is the check. Fifty-five eighty-three. Honestly, you get so much food for that price. I will say they did charge for a side of mayo. I didn't know they would do that but it did come with mayo already. I do think you probably need some more mayo if you are a big fan of mayo, 
but for future, it does come with mayo. You technically don't need a side of mayo. Now we are heading outside. It is currently like 2, 2.10, I think. So not super crowded at two-ish on a Saturday. So that's something, let's look at their hats real quick. Oh, and their shirt. Interesting. Hmm, cool. <laughs> but anyway, for two o'clock, not super crowded. Um, seems like it's in between like lunch and dinner. All right, that was our trip out to Hash House A Go Go. Stinking good. It was amazing. Yep. Waitress was amazing. Food was amazing. Drink was amazing. Absolutely stuffed. I can see why there's a big like talk about go to Hash House A Go Go. Loved it. And there's two locations. There's one here in uh, Flamingo Crossing, Winter Garden, and then the one or in Orlando. 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 Yeah. I think off I Drive, maybe. And I guess there are other places too, right? I think they're big in uh, Nevada. Yeah, I was gonna say Vegas. <clears throat> and then I think there's even some in California, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, yeah. There, are, there are other places too. It was awesome. Would highly recommend coming here. Um, it was good, stinking good. So, with that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.